Okay, I'm going to demo a quick receptacle wiring. Um, some things to point out. On a receptacle, we have our ground, and then we have our white terminals or our neutral terminals. And on the opposite side, we have our black or our hot terminals. And this is a brass um, screw, whereas this is more of just a steel screw. Also note that we have our larger openings relate to our neutral are smaller openings on the plug relate to the hot so that's also an important thing uh, to note so when we go to wire um, of course we'll get a piece of wire this is just a section but we have our two conductor black white and there's a ground in there which we'll see we have a couple of tools that we'll use and we will start with this to strip the wire should strip the sheathing so if you note, there's a sharp uh, cutter on the end there. Uh, that will go in between in the middle. And we can just pass this through maybe that far. You don't need to strip much past that. Uh, so maybe just about an inch or so past the opening there. And just clamp down, pull back, and that should expose, right, and dig into there revealing then the two conductors. You just will pull this back and then the ground usually has cardboard sheathing, paper sheathing. You can pull that back as well and just cut those those things off. So now I have my white, my black, my black, and my ground. The ground is usually always exposed um, to save cost on insulation, the ground is just bare. Some some wires you'll see green or green with yellow stripes. Um, but with Romex, it's going to be bare. So now I need to strip my insulation on the, each individual white and black. So I'll go in here and I'll note uh, the gauge here. It has a notation on the gauges. So I'll pick, this is 14 gauge, which I could look at the back of the wire. It's tough to see in the video, but you can look here. It's a 14 gauge, two conductor. And then I'll just go in here and about half an inch, I'll strip off of that insulation. And then at this point, I want to make my loops. So I'm going to loop the wire to loop around the screws. And I usually start with my ground. And if you notice these holes, that's what those are for. You can put those in there and just bend you'll get a nice hook there. I can do that with all of them. And what I want to do is I want to bend at least more than halfway. Okay, because I want those uh, conductors to go around the screws more than halfway around the screws. So starting with the ground, come in here. And I always want to wrap that wire counterclockwise or clockwise around the screw because that's the way that when you tighten it, it's going to actually pull that loop of the conductor into itself. Okay. And noting that the white goes here. And I want that conductor to sit as flat as possible. Okay. I want that. Uh, ideally, I do not want the insulation of the wire underneath the screw. So we're right at that right here. Um, I'll go ahead and fasten this down. And we can kind of see that insulation goes right up to the screw, but not under the screw. Same with the other side. Now this is going to be more of an issue. So you see where I'm actually underneath the screw with the insulation. Okay, I would want to actually rebend that. Okay. So that that insulation is not impeding the con connection between the copper of the wire and the copper or the brass of the actual screw. And if I need to, I can use the, you know, the ends there. Okay, so that's you can see that there. Angle's a little bit goofy. Okay. 
then we have successfully wired a receptacle. Um, the conductor is not underneath there. We actually have a little bit of copper um, and then the insulation. And we've done, again, the brass black and the steel or the silver is white and then that ground. Okay, that's a quick demo. Hope you is helpful for those of you who may not have uh, wired any receptacles. We'll also be wiring switches and GFI receptacles, and we'll be wiring light sockets. So all of these uh, different components will be wired very similarly. Key is to get that conductor to loop at least more than halfway around, and to not allow the insulation of the conductor to be underneath the screw. Okay, you just want the bare conductor underneath the screw. Of course with the ground, no insulation to worry about.